Here's a quick video of a user interface that we built for one of our customers. Uh, they're using three Dataman uh, cameras to scan products on a uh, web and they want to make sure that the correct role is installed uh, and the way that they wanted to load this in was by product number and a visual confirmation of uh, an image of what the bag should look like. Uh, so with this user interface you can see we have the three product lines uh, that are currently running and the product that's on them and the product number written right above as far as what should be running. Down below is the product search screen where you can actually search for any of the products in the system uh, by the product number and then uh, drop down here uh, and then it'll give you a visual confirmation of what is selected down below. So I can come in and I can select a different product and you can see this is a preview of what the product would look like front of bag, rear, the back side of the bag. So uh, you can actually search by portion, all of the product number or description, weight or any, any value within the database. So uh, I can put a part of the product number in there and search for it and it found two items with this much of the product number in there and so you can preview these items and then when you want to send it down to the camera you need to log in select the camera that you're going to send it to for example just line one and you're going to send it to that selected scanner the software sends it down to the camera and then requests the number back to confirm that it got the right item when it receives the item number that's currently loaded, it'll put the item number up there and display the images that are associated to that item. Uh, once you're done with that, you can select done and it locks out the operators from doing anything in there. Uh, as far as the database goes, there's a screen so that you can edit the database that's in there. You have to log in to enable the screen, but then you can actually uh, come in and select items in the database and edit those items or you can add there's a product add field so you can add items to the database and then there's a product remove so that you can remove items from that database uh, when you're done you just log out then nobody can mess with that the last screen is for uh, system settings so you can change the names of the lines so like right now it just says line one I can actually change that to probably one of the greatest names in the world and you come back to the main screen and you can see that the name of that line has been changed. I don't know if you can see that but uh, I just changed it to one uh, and then I'll change it back so I don't forget. And you can also test the connection with the camera. So this is just going to shoot a little ping out to the camera and see if it's there. Uh, you have the ability to change the IP address and the port number of the camera. And then you have uh, password controls. You can manipulate the different uh, passwords that are used within the system. You can rename the tabs and then the folder which uh, the database has been stored. And that's about it.